Hi there, I want to talk about the CCNA exam and uh, just share my experience and just share my thoughts. So uh, to study, I went to school for it. I went to a Cisco authorized partner, went through the course, and then after that, you know, I studied with the official Cisco press books, the cert guide, went through the exam topics and tried to memorize and study everything. Um, I will say that there isn't just one resource. There's no magic bullet or elixir that will guarantee that you pass the exam. There's tons of great resources out there. You've got, you know, Todd Lamley, um, Wendell, Wendell Odom, you know, those two books out there. They, there are tons of great video resources. You've got CBT Nuggets, Pluralsight, or INE. Uh, lots of great stuff out there. Forums, the Cisco Learning Network, whatnot. You know, take everything, you know, to your advantage. Use it. You know everything that's out there. Don't limit yourself to one um, source to study. And uh, I will say too that uh, there's two ways of taking the exam. You can take ICD1 and ICD2 separately, the two exam path or the one exam, which is composite, which is both of them, one and two. I will say that <laughs> take the two exam path. Do yourself a favor. Um, the composite is really difficult unless you've been you know, in networking for a while or had your CCNA, then I might consider the two, uh, one exam path, taking the composite. But like most people, I would recommend do yourself a favor, do the two exam path. It's cheaper. You're right. It's about 150 bucks as of today around there um, versus the composite, which is like over 300. So it's about the same price once everything is said and done. It, you know, there one isn't necessarily cheaper than the other. So, um, uh, I would do the two exam path. So as I was studying, you know, I never felt like I was ready. You're never going to feel like you're ready, honestly. But I had to put my foot down and set a date. You kind of have to do that. And uh, I did. So I set the exam for this was then early 2017, my first attempt. And uh, I failed. I was I was so sad after I came out of that exam. I, you know, I walked into my car. And I just thought about the questions and oh I oh I, I always thought I was way out of my league. The questions they asked me, I just I thought, you know what, I can't I can't do this. I don't I thought I'd never be able to get my CCNA. I thought, no, there's no way. <laughs> Let's go shrimp farming. Let's change careers. Uh, cause this is not for me. <laughs> but uh since I had a passion for it and I really love networking, I just continued to tinker away and I just love packets and frames and seeing them go around and round and round. <laughs> so um, I just kept, you know, licked my wounds and kept going. Um, the one nice thing out of all of this, taking the exam, is that you get a little printout sheet and they tell you what you sucked on. <laughs> so on the different exam topics, they'll say you got you know, maybe 80% here, 20% there, zero there. <laughs> um, and I use that as my guide, right? So I organize things by the lowest percentage that, you know, I've pretty much sucked on pretty bad. And uh, I studied that. I went back to the drawing board and practiced with some real equipment. I'm sure you could use GNS3, but yeah, I, I did that, and I realized that I didn't really know the material as well as I thought I did, right? And this has nothing to do with the exam, but an example would be, you know, you might have set port security, but did you ever test maybe the shutdown state, violation, I guess, state? Um, things like that. Have you, you know, taken a computer and make it go down, and can you bring it back up? Things like that. Testing things that, you know that you don't know that well, tinkering, you know, labbing up situations where, hmm, I wonder how I would make this change or make this happen, right? Actually just testing it, making it work. And that's pretty much what I did. I studied my weak points. I did that um, by looking at the little printout sheet and working on the things that I didn't know so well. And uh, I kept doing that for about a year. Now, at most, I mean, that would be extreme to take a couple of months. I took a year, okay? Don't do what I did. Life got in the way. You know how life be. <laughs> so.
So, uh, yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> it took too long, but I finally decided to put my foot down again and just say, you know what, I've got to schedule the exam. I can't sit around and wait next week, next month, I'll do it, because you're never going to feel like you're ready. You're going to feel like, I, I don't know it that well enough, I'm not going to make it, you're just going to have to put your foot down and just do it. So, I uh, I took it the second time, this would have been early uh, February of 2018, so earlier this year, I took it again, the CCNA, the composite, because <laughs> I wanted to be done one exam and I wanted that CCNA. <laughs> it's really bad. So I took it and I passed. I felt, I felt amazing. I felt like I had the power of the gods. I was invincible. I was so high. I felt amazing. It was just, it was awesome. <laughs> Finally passed it. And I guess what, you know, helped me pass it the second time around was that uh, I didn't stay at one question, right? I'm the type of person that if I can't answer a question, I'm going to stick to it until I can answer it and then move on. But I had to learn to let that go, right? If I can't answer a question within one or two minutes, I'm going to click next and call it a loss because I might be able to answer 10 more questions correctly, right? So if you can't get something, move on. Don't. Uh, stay at that one question because it is timed and <laughs> you got a lot of questions and going through it I had to go pretty fast it didn't feel like I had enough time but you know I made it and another thing too is know your basics it will take you a long way I mean that applies to everything right you might not know how to flash the firmware on your Tesla car but if you know how to change your tire I mean you know what I'm talking about? Then you don't have to call a tow truck, do all this stuff, right? Get a tire from, you know, near a store and have someone help haul, haul the tire in this. If you have it all ready and you know how to do it, man, that's going to save you a lot. It'll take you a long way if you know your basics. That's all I can say. <laughs> but uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I Two attempts, second attempt, I finally passed the exam that was really nice it was it was really awesome to finally pass this thing so uh just looking back at its you know reflective overview um the ccna is not i guess it depends it's not going to give you or get you a job alone it i mean i'm sure it might in certain situations but from what i can tell it's it's not going to get you a job what most people are looking for is a mixture of um, education that helps, you know, open the door, um, experience, being in that situation, in that position, right? They want to know that you've done this before. That's really important. And uh, certs to back up, you know, your education that you actually know the, the material, know how to do, do, do the job. But basically, number one is experience. <laughs> I would say education is, opens the door is really important and then starts kind of to seal the deal. Um, I I really like the CCNA because it gives you a good foundation, right? If you're going in IT, you kind of, it depends on what area, but it really helps you understand the flow of traffic in your network. CCNA is, is really nice because you can see and actually fix things and know how stuff works, how information flows between computers and goes through switches and how to get to, you know, other routers and other networks. And I mean, it just feels nice knowing that you're, you're competent and you're confident in your ability to, you know, work on a, on a network. And it really helps no matter if, you know, if you're doing windows networking, um, you know, in the cloud, I mean, you can't avoid networking. <laughs> it's really important. If you can't connect computers together, then it's useless basically. <laughs> So it gives you a good foundation. And uh, I know some people say that, um, I know uh, Eli, the computer guy, I really like him, but uh, he, I think he wrote CCNA on a, on a toilet paper on his shelf and he regards it as pathetic. But uh, he has, there is some truth to that. I, I will give him some credit that, you know, CCNA is not, um, how do I put this? Um, 
like I said earlier, going to get you a job. People are going to be knocking down your doors. But uh, it does help. It does help. And, uh, he's, you know, he says uh, it's basically toilet paper. But uh, what I say is I wear my toilet paper proud. <laughs> you should, too. <laughs> so that's pretty much my thoughts on the uh, CCNA. I'm sure there's more. I could go on probably for days and all the tips and things that, you know, you can watch out for. But that's just, you know, my thoughts on it. So I hope my <laughs> rambling was uh, helpful and thanks for watching.